All right, so hello for part two of Roderick Solo. Hey. Yep. Anyways, are you ready? As ready as I'll ever be. All right. Well, after an encounter with they're here to Ludoc, Roderick continues his way to Merstone after warning his friends. So. Roderick, you head to the to the town of Mercer, now knowing that the dwarf you seek is a secret servant of the god of murder and blood, Atacon. Blood for the blood god, murder for the murder, murder hobos. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of what they are, but either way. Pretty much, so, yeah. So, you have just... another week of trial to get there. Uh, you're fine for most of it. The most you encounter is just passerby traders, considering that, you know, Commerce is a thing. Yeah, any any like weird looks at Roderick on from these travelers at all? You know what? Roll D one hundred. Let's see. Fucking feck. <laughs> Fifty six. Roll D one hundred. Or blah, blah, blah. roll perception. Uh, could uh, yeah, I'll roll my perception and fuck it. I should have just kept my nat my <laughs> passive. Everything good, bud. <laughs> Nothing wrong here. Don't fucking lie to me like that. I should have used my passive. God. To <laughs> Roderick, there is nothing wrong. Uh, but to Cody, there is everything wrong. He will keep his guard up, of course, because this is Orrington. This is foreign territory. All right. Uh, during your travels, uh, I will say for the D100 roll, you know, it's like one of them is guarded by an armed man who... Doesn't seem to gain you any mind. That night, however. Uh oh. I need you to roll me. Because if I enough, there's actually just. Fuckery do. Yep. Unfortunate. There's an unfortunate fuckery do here. Ah, uh, yes. We love when armed people come to try and beat the shit out of Roderick. Well, bold of you to assume. Uh, the armed man to describe him, human human looking, uh, can't see any points under the hood, looks to look be like a standard, like, holy warlike cleric. Definitely looks tough. Hmm. Well, shit. Yep. I, don't like, I can only assume what that's going to lead to. Yep. Uh... The only other thing I would have you roll is if unless it, Roderick says anything to them, otherwise it's just going to keep going. No, he's going to keep quiet. Kind of okay. keep minding his own business. I need you to roll me a wisdom saving throw. Weehoo! <laughs> Fuck. Well. <sighs> Isn't any kind of charm or shit? No. No. No time or frightened. That's fair. No, because it's whole person. Ah, lovely. Roderick, as you're camping, you suddenly feel yourself seize up. Like, you almost feels like sleep paralysis until you hear footsteps coming up. You're the big one. The Lord will definitely want you. He begins to tie you up. Uh, rolling perception as he does. Like, you know, he's like moving around so you might be able to see stuff. Your eyes are still able to move, just your physical body can't. 26. You see a symbol on him, one of a bloody dagger. Uh, it's a sort of a uh, hand. Yep, this, uh, you recognize if you were really to check earlier, this is the one of the sigils of a cult of Atacon member. Uh, and I can only expect the Lord to be the governor. Well, I guess this works <laughs> with me going to see After the After a governor. minute, I was going to say, what are you rolling? I was like, well, good news. You don't have to worry about getting in anymore. <laughs> Yeah, but it sounds like they want something about him. Probably a sacrifice, dear God. Uh, eventually, you are free, but you are tied up. Uh, is there anything you want to do? Because he is going to try and pick you up. Uh, there is stuff you may be able to do if you wish. Uh, he kind of how how is he tied? Is it like it appears to be more of a um, metal like rope device, like a. Uh, roll me Arcana to see if you know what this is. With it, if you had to, cause big blame. Night. Actually, yeah, no, you actually got what you need. These are basically, um, 
this is basically a magical item called um, Mage's, Mage's Binding. Basically, uh, this is a magic item that if you put it around anyone who, as a spellcaster, they can't cast spells. They would need to roll a charisma check of a DC, or, you know, a spellcasting check of a DC 17. If they fail, they would immediately take some psychic damage. That only, but however, it only works on spells. Other abilities, I, you know, like, there's a little bit of leeway with. <laughs> just, Roger, just somehow strength breaks it. Like, oops. You would need a DC 25 to break it. I which, will say that. With your 19, which you could, it's possible. Honestly, is, which is doable, because he's got a... doable for you. Well, he has to roll a minimum 11 on the dice. But he won't, because that would be stupid. Um... Okay. Uh, he, it, are his legs bound, or is it just his arms? Uh, his legs are bound. Basically, they don't want you moving. That's fair. For all intents and purposes, think of this as a rope version of a straight jacket. Yeah, and... But his mouth isn't covered. Nope. Huh. I have to say, I wasn't expecting to see a Goliath out all this way. Seeing as the Empress was sending me to check up on Mirstone, this is quite unusual. Deception. With advantage, cause your fucking wounds. Twenty-two. Me? Well, he believes you. Oh, servant of an empress, then. All the better to kill you. Though I suppose that the that uh, bleh, bleh, God, I bleh, I don't know what's wrong with today. Do I suppose the blood? The Blood Master will decide what to do with you. <clears throat> well, I was going to speak to him anyways on something regarding the Lord. The Lord? Of whom do you speak? The same Lord that you wear his crest on your chest. Okay, kind of like using his head to point towards the no, he does. blood for he's the... Gonna, he's going to yeah. look at you. Hmm. To drop... To spread blood is to spread absolution. That sounds like a secret message. <laughs> Have I ever heard it before? Religion. Let's see if, like, let's see. I'm curious. <laughs> 22? Uh, unfortunately, no. That was like a, that was a higher DC. Roderick does not strike me as the type of person to read too heavily into murder cults. <laughs> no, he yeah. would just, he would just he would kind of just go. I'm quite new, so if you're trying to give a hint or creed, I have not learned it yet. As deception, normal. We'll go. That's fair. Like, it's kind of right in this approach. So yeah. Twenty. Uh, hey, 2019! A... Shitty year. <laughs> well, I mean, hey. What followed it was worse. Yeah. Ooh. He probably passed. Yeah, I'm sorry. They, they do have high that's wisdom. Fair. That's an unfortunate thing. He rolled low last time, not so much this time. No, that's fair. Please. Any of our order would have learned that in uh, the beginning stages of their training. Hmm. He's holding you up. <sighs> so, you are the Empress's lapdog, then. He uh, whistles for the for the horses to start moving the carriage. For all intents and purposes, this is the cutscene mode of, like, you're traveling to your location. <laughs> hey, so you're awake now. Yeah, pretty much. It's just like, a, well, this is fucking this great. Ah, you pretty good, you. Forget this. Okay. Time to tell me. Does the Empress suspect our true motives? No, she does not. Not that I have been aware of. To kill you, so if you were over for the Empress, would indeed be a worthy sacrifice to the Lord. Murder has no point if there is not import to it. Anyone can murder you, 
can murder a father to murder your own is truly bliss, truly of holy, of holy relevance. To murder one so close to the system of power in what in this country would be a, indeed a worthy catch. Hmm. If you believe that to be so. It is in our most foundational teachings. Blood spilt needlessly is but common thieves and ropes. No, to appease the lord of blood himself, it must be art, it must be it must be deep thought out. Most would never assume there was a there would be a uh, a guy calling to murder. There is only power in such act if it is deed personal. If it is deed important. What about to kill one's own loved one? To do so would be divine. A very a perfect example example to our lord i myself killed my mother to prove myself worthy to the, to he who holds domain of murder i killed the love of my life persuasion with advantage twenty four He stopped the cart. Did you? Tell me, what puring thoughts came when you murdered such a person to you? In the beginning, there was regret. But towards the end, it was dull. Like a pinprick. Persuasion with disadvantage. That's fair. It's not because 18. I don't believe you. It's the it's the opposite of what they want. Yeah, exactly. They these people take yeah. murder. They they treat it okay. Have you ever met like a pretentious artist who's like, no, this is the evolution of our crowd. <laughs> Bullshit. You know, Bullshit. like you know, those pretentious True people. Art. Those pretentious mm -hmm. people who had their thumbs so far up their ass you it, you could call it their tongue. Yeah. Yeah, that's what this is. So he looks at you. And here I thought you had showed promise for a second. How ignorant of me. A true recruit of Atacon would have relished such an act. There would have been almost an ecstasy, a great high, a pureness to it. You solely the concept of our Lord's great work. It is clear now that you indeed are a great sacrifice. The Lord will bless me this day for what I will deliver him. The Lord will curse you when I turn you into a meat pie. <laughs> Such interesting threats. Not ones you can carry out, but still. It is rather amusing. Hmm. Is that so? Indeed. Is it is it just us two or is it yeah, just Yeah, it's just you two, you know, like he um I will say with your passive perception, uh you can smell blood in here. He clearly murdered whoever was in this card originally. <laughs> mm hmm Is he kinda like looking forward or is he kinda like He's looking forward, like he's the one driving the carriage. And I'm kind of like in the back in a fucking bind. Yep, unless you want to try and break out. Eh, I could try. <laughs> But you're letting him lead you to with them. Yeah, but it's also like it's clear that like if I go. Because going this way, I feel like I will be at a disadvantage because I they most likely will take my weapons. 
and most likely will be like, hey, sacrifice, sacrifice, and he's now in bindings. Mm. Unless they, like, plan to do it in the most glorious way where it's just like, ah, yes. A glorious death. Ah, exactly. Yes. Ah, yes. Shot to bit by a Catholic German bitch quoted Kill Bill. Yes, a traitor's death. <laughs> yes. Helsing. Because, like, oh, I think I'm going to just hold off. All right, he'll keep talking to you. Tell me, why did you kill that who you loved? Why does it matter to you? I'm curious if you did not see such jubilation and such a noble act then why do it why persist why would someone so mundane partake in our noble arts is it more prudent to lay someone to die even though well, hold on. Let me let me reword this because I'm trying to word it in my brain. I'm not really good at this. Uh, do you not take out a lame horse when it is clearly injured? Do you not put a dog to rest when it it's time or it bites something? Were you not so undevout, I might confuse you with a follower of Karenna. The way you speak of how Who's beneath Kar things are. Uh, religion, Karenna religion. is the. I think we no. For Roderick, hold on one second. Religion for Roderick religion because he's never heard this one. Okay, that is one I haven't not heard. Okay, make yeah. sure history. I knew other character has. You have it. Ah, twenty-three. Or, you know, it should have been religion, but I'll count that. Um, oh, I thought you said history. Yeah, no, no, no. I I said history. I meant religion. That was on me. That's fair. I mean, it's they're both the same modifier. They're both a, a six. Yeah, exactly. So I'll count that just to be kind. Yeah. Uh, Karenna is the, goddess of sh is the mistress of shadows. She's very cruel. Like, her followers oh. kind of view, like, they kind of, like, it's like they, they view, like, what they do as something that needs to be done. There's no real joy in it. Damn it. I, I fucking walked into it. Yep. I knew it. Is. Yeah, he just doesn't respond to that comment. That's a shame. Karenna followers, they, they lack the passion of, of what we do. There's no joy in it. They simply do what their mistress orders. They truly do not know the pleasures of this world. But in any event, I hope you're not claustrophobic. It is... Or at the or a fear of the underground. It's... This, it's boring whenever they... I'm more afraid of that than what is to come as you guys begin to enter a cave system. Ah, uh, that's this is the underground stuff that that Hugo was talking about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Roderick, Roderick has seen Roderick has faced many fucking things like, you know, a dragon goddess who kind of, you know, yeah, this bitch. one guy is probably not. Yeah, no, it's like after that point, he doesn't like, he doesn't know. he's like having this conversation and then Roderick's just like. Huh. But claustrophobia. I, I, thought I face a five-headed dragon in the form of a woman bitch. At this point, I, I at face this point, a five-headed dragon. At this point, I've, I'm, no, I've, I'm numb to it. <laughs> I faced a literal being who could, who is a, a the embodiment of envy and every and all those emotions. This is a cave. This is a cave. Like at this point, I'm numb to it. <laughs> He's like, eh, we're going to so many caves. Listen, listen. I experienced the year 2020. <laughs> I lived through the year 2020. I came numb. out a man. And I came out numb. <laughs> exactly. It's kind Anyways. of how, that's kind of how Roderick's thinking is. He's just sitting. It's like, it's like, or laying, I guess, probably. Yeah. Anyways, as you approach, you do hear some elements of talking. The cultists appear to be in red of rose, some of which you can see armor. Uh, I want you to roll me a perception check. Me hoi, me boy, me hoi, You would be looking around, Roger. What the fuck? <laughs> so this, that was not even uh, specific. I will say, uh, you're passive, because you didn't notice this one. 
But when you're passive, yeah. you do notice that the cave system itself has a lot of stalagmites, I believe, is the one that hangs down. I think it's stalagmites. Yeah, I always get confused. I think it's like tight on the ceiling, light right on the gun. Yeah, uh, stalactite uh, that know, hangs from the ceiling. Stalactites are from the ceiling. Stalagmites. Stalactite. You see stalactites at the are... ceiling. Uh, creeping, like, you know, inverse pillars that sharp go down further. Uh, they're a good 30 feet up. They uh, they almost give the cave, like, uh, elements of, like, uh, glistening as there are gems in there. Uh, almost like ruby. Like, it gives, like, this ominous red glow to everything. The cultists... Uh, Look around and almost they see you as they're murmuring, Is this the sacrifice? He looks he looks unimpressive. Lord Lord Heron has never brought anything to Spine Fortune. Perhaps there's more to the Grey One than what we see. <laughs> he just Roderick's just listening and he's kinda like eyes closed, like hail. just just taking in his sight. Oi hail uh one second I got more uh, Oi, hail. Uh, you see one uh, more stout, tiny one that looks to be around three, four feet tall. Uh, hold up her hand as you hear a feminine voice. Uh, mm. You see elements of a beard. This is definitely a dwarven woman. Uh, Bearded what? ladies! Yep. Dwar dwarven we all woman. crave them. Uh, hold. <laughs> what do you bring us this time, Brother Heron? I bring you a servant of the Empress. For that master he claims to have wished to meet you well, let's have a look she goes and looks at you and you can see this is as you look at her based on the description you had gotten this is a uh, uh Berenice, uh hammer breath this is indeed the governor yeah i thought so He's just kind of sitting there. Mm -hmm. Huh. Well, you are a fool for wrong reasons, brother Heron. This is the Goliath of the Wolf Pack. Roderick Hornlander, was it? Pleasure to meet you. Yes. Doubtful. You're, you're standing in the presence of those who who have seemed to have made Governor Zorkas disappear. The Empress has been rather displeased not to have heard back from him, nor you. Further still, that it appears the Shadowproofs are taking over her city. Such a shame. Beneficial to our cause, they are pacifists by nature. They will make great sacrifices in the in the future to come. Mm. She enters the cart. You may go, Brother Heron. I wish to speak to this one. As you say, as you say, Blood Master. He bows and leaves her. <laughs> I wonder. I wonder if he feels like, like, wait a second. This isn't someone. Ah, fuck. You can inside him. I'll inside him. Fuck it. We'll ball. Hey, you fucking you Can't read him. That's two. It's that's two thirteen. Up. Get one more. I'm completely unlucky yeah. for the day. But uh, okay, that's oh. fair. Now, now then, ah, I do apologize for the rough landing. I would have given you the courtesy of drink, poisoned, of course, enough to keep you immobilized. If we had met, where are the uh, the rest of your uh, pack? Such notorious individuals would be, would be great sacrifices for the Lord of Murder. None of your concern. Well, I suppose it doesn't matter. We will find them in the end. It is what we do. We find people not worthy to be found. So why do you come to me alone? Doubtful reason who I was. 
reasons being, I wish to hear them. She said, she said doubtful that she knew who I was. D you know, she obviously didn't assume. Cause she's kept her secrets hidden well. Yeah, but she so doesn't believe that me? he knew him. Did she not believe that he knew about her stuff? Yeah, no, he, she has no reason to think that he does. He go, He just kind of goes, well, maybe you don't keep your secrets tight to the chest as you think. People know that would be interesting. There is a discussion what to do with you. You would make a great sacrifice for the Lord of Murder. Indeed, tor torturing you for your information would be great worship. But, conversely, a man who has earned the ire of Athudan would be curious to bring. You would be a lure for those who wish to find you only to be met with righteous murder, with righteous death. Not that you would be willing, of course. A tied up, tied up piece of bait is just as good as willing. Hmm. What should I do with you then? You could untie me and kill yourself. That would make my job much easier. You wish to murder me, then? Is that why you've come all this way? Alone to murder a governess of Orington? That might be the case. And if it is... Then... I suppose there's more reason for me to kill you. Shame, you are... rather unique. Unique in what way? Not many are cursed by after that until... What may come? She still believes he's cursed. She has no reason not to think it again. That's that's just one of those that things. That is. Yeah, she doesn't know you That die. is fair. Yeah, no, like she has. Yeah, no idea. that is. That, that, I don't know. I'm just like it's yeah, an it, interesting idea. No information's currency here. And it's like you know what you did in the cave. There was there. You know, no one was watching you when you did it. No one was in the cave where it happened. The cave. Sorry. The cave where it happened, the cave where it happened, the cave where it happened. You killed Pretty a motherfucking much. t frame man. All right. But uh, he's not going to make it. He's. Uh... She believes he's cursed still by Abaddon. So he's kind of just. Just not. He's not going to say anything about that stuff. He's not going to bring up that it's, you know, not that case anymore. But hey. Take one of Athudan's selected would be um, interesting to say the least. Uh, would be quite the most glorious sacrifice we've had in quite some time. Even if that selected has denied their advances time and time again. What Athudan wants, she doesn't. Consent's not really a factor for Athudan. No. No, uh. I definitely can't let you live, since you've seen this, you know what this is, if you were to escape, and let's say you are loyal to the Empress, let's say you did kill Zorkos out of, uh, you made him disappear out of her will, still not something that I can, uh, let, uh, pass. You need to secure my relationship with her, so... Mm -hmm. mm. And you believe she sees me any less of a pawn than the others that are around her? Repeat, I'm sorry. And you believe that she sees me any higher than any other pawn? I think it would be a great boon to our lord to have one over the chromatic pitch. Now, uh, speaking of, alright, uh, so, 
what I think I am going to do with you is, uh, I think I am going to ask why you did split from your group, because that's the one thing I do want to know. Your group might be full of idiots, uh, the Cinderlord especially. Uh, the Enogami, in the Enogami, uh, not far, the Enogami, not far off from that. So why split? That's serious. That's done by even their standards. A group, a decision was made. That is all it is. And origin decisions always have double entendre. All right. That's for those in Orrington who believe in its factors and its belief system. And those who don't wind up dead. And unfortunately for you, you don't follow the stereotype of Goliath. You're, unfortunately for you, much too smart for your own good. The Empress might not have seen it. I did. Uh, the way you're talking, the way you're trying to hide you... There's an irony that a Goliath is more of an Orrington man than the rest of who travels. In Ugami and Jokai, shifty creatures by nature. Kalashar, secretive. And, uh... The Cinderlord should have been a great man of Orrington if he had actually stayed for that proper education. So, what was the reason? You're going to die anyways. Might as well tell me. I might, uh... Well, I won't spare your friends, but I won't let them die painfully, at least. He just kind of looks at her deadpan, just... Not a word. Ah, oh, very well. I suppose your secrets will stay within the bounds of murder. For after all, that's all we take with us when we greet our lord. Our secrets. Right, uh, brothers and sisters, prepare him. Prepare the ruins. The sacrifice will begin in an hour. Leave him in one of the cells. Guard him carefully. This one seems more like trouble than the rest. <sighs> it was interesting meeting you, Sir Hollander. I think in a different life, if uh, we had met under strenuous circumstances. I think I would have enjoyed that uh, drink before, well, all this. Shame we had to meet this way. But murder do what murder does, and blood shall be spilled <laughs> in his name. <laughs> God, I can't get that out of my head. Blood, blood for the blood god. Blood for the blood god. And blood for the blood god. Yes, yes. God damn it. Yes, yes. Thank you, thank you, brother Dou douche. <laughs> Brother Deuce. Uh... Yeah, yeah, okay. But no, they begin to take you to a cell uh, in the cave system. Uh, they It's more of a cage setup. They don't really have, like, separate caverns. It's like a full spread. It's more like a full encirclement where they put their camp. Notably, as you're looking, they're preparing a altar, it looks like. One that looks like a mini ziggurat that looks like it was probably a pain to carve out from the natural stone cave around them. Uh, leading, mm -hmm. leading up where it looks like there are runes that... Uh, you can't really see from your vantage point. You just can see them painting, but not within a clear visage, especially without dark vision, to be able to see fully. The slag types are still up there. Uh, they go down, like you know, to where like you would probably be close to touching them uh, if you were uh, if you're on that sort of mini ziggurat type figure. Yeah, that's what I was assuming. Uh, beyond that, uh, the. The closest look very devout. Uh, they seem to have like a person that sort of crazed look that someone has in their eye, whether it be true belief or fanaticism. They leave you in the cave with the ropes attached. With the the metal rope. Mm. Yes. And so, and these are the ones. It's basically like I can't cast any magic, essentially. You cannot cast spells, no. Okay, no spells, but my runes do stuff, do different things. That's true. I'll give you a few minutes to think about what you want to do here, because I've set up the environment. 
and you I've looked at your spell list when I before when I was making your D one hundred chart. There are elements you can do here that could probably get you to deal with all this quickly, so Yeah. I can't cast spells. They took they probably took the weapons and stuff. Right? I'm assuming they did. I'm sorry? It's I'm assuming they took uh, Roderick's weapons. Yes, they took your weapons. They, you know, they were not going to leave you with your weapons. Yeah. I can't cast spells. Not even dispel magic because these are because that's I would have to beat the DC for the thing. I can't cast spe I can't cast spells or it fucking hurts. Uh you can pass a check to try to, but it if you fail it hurts. The DC is 17. Okay. Cause I could try to dispel the magic on the bands. Cause I have that. They would have taken all your inventory so you wouldn't have the rune. <laughs> yeah, the anti-magic rune. You only have Well, I mean I have I, I have the spell dispel magic. Oh yeah, yeah, you could try that, yes. You could uh it would have to pass the uh check though so like that's a if you believe in your charisma checks well enough mm, it is just straight charisma too so i'd have to roll a 13. Uh, i could just try to strength my way out of it that's an option then but then they would hear me break the fucking metal Yeah, I'll give you a few minutes to think on it. Uh, so many options. Because if I try to dispel magic... <sighs> Did I notice... Uh, was was the cave system kind of weak in any way? Roll like, did it look perception. like... Perception. A... That one's you're going to have to actively roll perception or investigation of your choice. 17? Uh, it's hard to tell without dark vision. In particular, where you are in the cage, it's like the stack types, it's like, yeah, those could probably break those, you know, like certain spells would break them. Whether the cage system itself is weak, though, that's, uh, that's iffy. Yeah. Yeah, because I have to get out of the fucking, I gotta get out of the, these cuffs first. And they're magically, if I dispel the magic on them, that means I can cast more spells from them. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, well, let me give that a try first. I'll try and dispel magic the 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 rope attempt. So it's a okay. DC, DC 17, 17 charisma. charisma. Yep. 17. Well, I was gonna say disadvantage, but yeah. So you managed to dispel the uh, things. The runes begin to not glow. So uh, there is a physical difference now of what was happening. Okay, so that worked out. Uh, and then, how close are the guards to his cell? They're about like 15 feet. They haven't noticed that you've done this yet, I'll say. So they haven't noticed that. Uh, with, the, with the magics removed, is it easier for him to kind of wiggle out of these, I'm assuming? Yeah, yeah, it is. So he, he, he would kind of wiggle out of them. He'd be free of the rope. Uh... Hmm. Let me think. So I'm out of the I'm out of the I'm out of those. Uh, what's the next thing I can do? Uh, let me look at my spells. Uh, do the bars look any kind of magically? No, done they're up? just they, you know they look like standard rusty cage stuff. You know they probably are not. You know I'm pretty sure like the 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 uh, rope is probably what they tend to use. You're like that's what you're pretty sure. Yeah, they're they're they they're used to like, hey, no one's gonna try and do this. Yep. Uh, I could hold on. Hmm. I mean, look at your spells. Definitely see what they do because I will say 
Like I said, I looked at your spells, so I knew that you'd be fine here. Yeah, that's why I'm looking. I the stupid idea I have is like mirror image to have, you know, basically them see a copy of Roderick basically out that's, of the fucking room. That's not how that would work. It's like your other. I copies know, I know. Well, so like, it's like as much as I would like that, it's like mislead would be the spell you need there. Yeah. Uh. Mm -hmm. Let's see. He has press the digitation message. Uh, flavor Hold small mark a symbol appear on your object or surface. Uh, hmm. Mm -hmm. Fuck. I'm not good at this part of the game. Uh, let's see. I mean, yeah, no, like the uh, the benefits of spells is that you have options, but then it's like, oh boy, options. <laughs> Yeah, and also, like, thinking of said options is always a fun one. I will uh, say, like, you definitely, you definitely have ahead. stuff, like, I will say, like, uh, right now, you would definitely, um, I would say with that perception, you know where your equipment is, like, particularly your weapons and inventory. So I guess it really depends on, like, what you're trying to do and, like, how you'd want to try and get that stuff and how you deal with what looks to be about 25, 30 cultists, just to give you a head count. Do they, do they have, do... Do I have my armor on? Like they, I'm assuming yeah, they, 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 they weren't going to take your armor off. So because that's a lot of that's a lot to take off. So he he just doesn't have his his. Does he does does him not having the spear remove the uh, the 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 uh, what's it called? The attunement. Uh, no, it wouldn't break attunement, uh, because they only just okay. took it, you would still be attuned to it. It takes, like, a, I think it takes, like, an hour at minimum, if not 24 hours, to break attunement, mm -hmm. so you would still have access to the attunement of it. You're just not your regular equipment. Yeah, so, that's the, 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 the buff of the armor is still there. Okay. Uh, t -t 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 uh, I'm looking at prestidigitation... Uh, you can make a color or small mark or a symbol appear on an object or surface for one hour. Uh, faint musical notes and odd odor. Are they like, are the guards like together together in like, They're in the 15? Like are they guard like, you know, like five feet from each other, you know, like basically on one side of the cell each. <laughs> Uh, but they're 15 feet away. Yeah, they're about 15 feet away from you. It's like, if I try to shatter above them, could do some, it could kill them, because, I mean, they, they'd have a bunch of stalactites coming down along with the thunder damage, but it's also very loud. That would, so would, with the crashing slide, they would hear that. Also, you don't know how structurally sound this cave is, so... Um, exactly. Um... Can't, I'm not gonna polymorph anyone, because they probably have high wisdom. Uh, uh... Shit. Okay. This is difficult. So he's out of the binds. What's next? Do the does I mean the, the I mean I'm assuming the bars the, the uh the uh the door doesn't doesn't I'm assuming it's locked. They wouldn't leave an unlocked cell now, even with those. Separate. Yeah, I was assu I was like, assuming. Someone could, um, like, you know, I was like, what if someone wormed away? No, nah, that wouldn't happen. Yeah, let's put a lock just in case. Yeah. Uh I mean, it really depends, because, like, yeah, like I said, you got your spells, so it's a matter of what you want to do. And I genuinely have no... Because uh, I can't I can't see them, can I? See who? The guards. Within 15 feet of you, I'd say you see the outlay of them, even without your dark vision. Like, you know they're there. There's enough torchlight in there where it's like, you could definitely see them. Uh... I mean, I, hmm. I could whisper a message to one of them to kill the other. <laughs> like trying allow, to pretend to, trying to, pretend allow, to be their god. I would allow deception. 
if you want to do that. Yeah, I, I will give it a try. What do you say to them? Uh, I got to think of what the... That's, I, all Still, I would imagine... Um... <laughs> all I'm imagining is like... Um, it's I was watching uh, the demon the like the latest demon uh, king movie to give a king like anime and he just like all they hear is kill kill like kind of like a almost like a whispering like guttural sound like saying to kill kill him or kill them trying to like get that like make it sound like their god's like hey I'm I'm hungry give me like kill him kill him Almost like egging him on to kill his, is <laughs> the guy next to him. All right, so you're basically just going. You're like, kill him. Like, you know, come on, do it, do it, do it. So he's just like, do it, kill him, do it. Kind of like, egg him on. Okay, hopefully. so you're phrasing just kill him, or, uh, or, like, oh God, I'm trying to phrase it because like they're next to someone. So he would, so they have a prisoner behind them who's supposed to be a sacrifice. I'm just going to give you that. Or I was going to say, probably try and get them to say, uh, kill, like, kill your partner. Kill him now. Like, egg him to kill the guy who's guarding with him. Or, or, or try to get them to both try and kill each other. All right, roll deception, I'll say. Just, like, if y'all I'll allow it, roll deception. Advantage! I fucking kill me! Oh, I crave death. Richard, you know what? Do you this, know how much? A... Do you know how much money? I, before I say what happens, do you know how much money Richard would pay to have had that happen to our? Yeah. Wait, hold on. Let me let me send a picture to Richard. I was gonna say, just so he... if you didn't, I was. <laughs> I was. Gonna, I'll just. I'll send it to him. Just be like, don't you wish this? Uh, this was for you. No, it's like it's like um, fucking one scene in Thor Ragnarok where it's like, yes. How does it fail? Um, I'm just a big fan of the sword. Pretty much. Hold on, let me send this to Richard before I get fucked. All right. Uh, <sighs> Sorry, within that one, I'm like, yeah. Fucking was... had to be that way. Don't you wish this would happen against your insights? So, the guards look at you. He's escaped! He's escaped! They all uh, turn to you. What do you do? Fucking, uh, I guess shatter above them. I need to roll me a d100. Oh, good god. Wee woo! Wee woo! 35? Oh no! Oh god! The floor was worse here. I assume. So as you shout, the cyclades crash them. However, you hear crackling and rumbling. It's, it seems you've hit a soft spot. The cave begins to begin to crackle, and jagged rock begins to fall everywhere. What do you do? Fucking, um, run? I guess run to where my armor and my, my weapons are. The cage is unlocked. Remember. Oh, uh, strength bust open the cage with giant spite. Athletics. Can I giant smite your... first? Yeah, not no, full, it, not full size. He would just okay, yeah, you, you yeah, know. That's what I'm saying. Athletics, yeah. Advantage. Thirty-two. Yeah, you push through and you begin to run. Uh, I'm gonna roll some stuff to see if they can try to get <laughs> you, and because uh, you know they're gonna try. But us, what? The fuck! Stop him! <laughs> da, 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 uh, I'm gonna da, da, da. say. So here's what I'm gonna. Oh, do. I God need to roll damn me, it! I need to roll me three checks. Two deck saves okay. and a wisdom saving throw. Okay, two deck saves. One dex. Nope. Okay, you're two decks. Nope. You're taking the full of that. Wisdom save. <laughs> Fucking, I hate myself. I just want to die. Just kill me. I give you, well, I mean, I was going to say, I gave you DM inspiration from last time, so you could use that uh, to reroll one of those. I'll reroll the wisdom save. <laughs> Fucking thank God. That was kind of good because they were going to hold monster you. Yeah, 24. All right, and then I'm going to roll some attacks because some of them are casting spiritual weapon. That's fair. What's your AC? 22 without this, without uh my shields. Okay. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Oh, that's because I clicked the wrong thing. Hold on, hold on. 
20. My bad. So those hit. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a dice roller to calculate all the damage. First off, are you resistant to fire at all? Uh, with this armor, yes. Because the uh, mithril is mixed with the lava stuff. Oh, so it's got fire resistance. So you're going to take uh, 20 points of fire damage, cut down half to 10. Okay. And then I'm going to uh, roll a bunch of dice. Uh, so 10 fire damage first, and then... <laughs> Jesus. Right. We're going to see if you can survive this, because I'm going to be like... Because obviously, like, I'm not going to do initiative here, because like, that would just be insane. That's just like so much yeah. fun. So I'm just going to see if Roger can survive what's about to happen. Uh, all right. So that's that. Uh, you had two of those flung at you, so... I Those would have hit. Really I have a lot of HP. I don't have a lot of HP, but fucking, this is so bad. <laughs> oh, oops, wrong thing. They revive. They decide they want to. I'm alive. Out. I'm dead. But I'm alive again. Yep. Um, Alrighty, so there's that. So there's that. All right. So those were those. You had. Three of these hit at you, and I'm just gonna count that for all. So that would be okay. Oh god, this is gonna be terrible. Four, and then they had they ca they upcasted those, so that's gonna be <laughs> three of those. Such chaos! I knew this was gonna turn into chaos. The instant I kept going, fuck. <laughs> da -da -da. Okay. Yeah. Fuck. Roderick. How much damage do I take other than the 10? A combination of force and and uh, radiant with some flame strikes, spiritual weapons, and guiding bolts. You take 98 points of damage. I'm a <laughs> I rolled some low ones. And some sacred flames as well. But you managed to grab your equipment. Uh, you have one last thing before they begin to hurl stuff at you because, yeah. Um... Fucking, uh, uh, how how far behind are they? They're like three feet. Uh, uh, the dwarf woman, the governess Brunavis, is uh, closing in on you. She's like, she has some hate in her, she has some anger in her eyes. You fucking stone man. Do you have any idea what you've done? Uh, ooh. Uh, is, is it an action to change the shape of the, of the, the spear? Uh, I believe I made it a or, bonus action. Yeah. I have an idea. Okay. Um, I'm going to, because this is actually kind of, kind of works. He's going to change the shape of the, of the, the spear into the, into the axe, battle axe form. And with the battle axe, thunder step. Roll me one last C100, see what happens. Okay, so 17. that was worse for the case ability. So, as you thunderstep, you manage to get outside as you see the cave collapse right underneath, killing everyone within. <laughs> it worked! Yep, the shadowy thunder shit. managed to secure the cave. It is now closed off, as well as any evidence of what could have happened. And everyone's dead. Yep, including the sacrifice. Are many things, but not really teleporters. Including the rest of the sacrifices that were in there, isn't that? Or was it just me? I never, I never noticed, didn't I? I'm sorry. I wasn't. Was I the only sacrifice? Ah, uh, that you could see. Okay, but he made it out. You made it out, and, and congratulations, you have dealt with that. This is such a stupid way to do it. Yeah, but <laughs> listen. <laughs> In a, in a nation of great intelligence, of great horror, and great cunning, sometimes it takes idiocy to bring him down. I, yeah, I, I, it wasn't even idiocy. It was just Roderick stumbling. And then I think in that last moment when he's when he sees her getting closer and starts getting pissed, he just kind of gives her this like, you underestimated me. Gifts the axe <laughs> in front of her and just goes. Doof. And then, yeah, they all die. So. You can begin to make your way back to your companions as that's for your solo. Yeah, he's gonna fucking rest on the way there. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah.